When a patient is exposed to HIV through bodily fluids, such as blood or sexual exposure, the virus infects T-cells and macrophages. So notice that HIV uses GP120 to interact with the CD4 receptors. Most of the time when you think of CD4 receptors, you think of T-cells, but macrophages also have CD4 receptors. This is why you can see that GP120 also interacts with the co-receptor CCR5 if it's infecting a macrophage, but it may also interact with CXCR4 if it's infecting a T-cell. Finally, GP41 acts as an anchoring protein that is inserted into the host cell membrane, which allows the virus to fuse with and gain entry into the cell. So you can see that we've shown the virus entering the cell via endocytosis. From here, the virus releases its contents and reverse transcriptase converts the viral RNA into double-stranded viral DNA. Next, the virus uses integrase to insert the viral DNA into the host DNA. Once this occurs, the host cell transcribes the DNA into RNA, which is then translated into a polyprotein. This large polyprotein is cleaved by protease, and then a new HIV virus is assembled, which goes on to infect other cells, and the process begins again. All right, now that you understand the structure and mechanism by which HIV causes disease, let's memorize these details. This scene will take place in a fantasy world where an evil witch rules the land. She's had many recent battles, which have resulted in many wounds on her arms. So if you look closely, you can see that she's covered up with wounds with band-aids. This is our symbol for AIDS, and the virus responsible for AIDS, which is HIV. Notice that we've included many warm red and orange colors, which should help you remember that HIV is an RNA virus. Now we've shown a dwarf who is in bondage to the witch, and he's manning a pulley to a well in order to provide water for the witch and her forces. Pulleys work by someone exerting a force in one direction, which then causes the pail of water to move in the opposite direction. In other words, it moves in a retrograde fashion relative to the force. So we'll be using a pulley to represent retroviruses, and HIV is a member of the retrovirus family. Retroviruses have the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which allows the virus to convert its RNA into DNA, which can then be integrated into the host's genome. If you look closely at the ropes in the well, you can see that there is one red rope emerging from the well, and then after the pulley, it splits into two blue ropes. The single red rope represents RNA, and the two blue ropes represent DNA. So this should help you remember that the enzyme reverse transcriptase converts a single strand of viral RNA into double-stranded DNA. Next, notice that we've added a rainbow to the scene, which should help you remember that HIV is a positive sense virus. 